and uh, i'm planning to uh, like a demo you know end to end complex inbound process okay like uh, inbound process uh, like you know how you receive the goods uh, uh, where it starts from that you know um, uh, unloading you know staging reconsolidate value added service so how these steps is going to uh, happen in a, in a ewm side okay as as we discussed typical inbound process it starts from the purchase order and uh, as soon as purchase order it creates you know inbound delivery then uh, against the inbound i mean uh, against the purchase order you create inbound delivery distributed as the inbound delivery and unloading once as soon as you unload it it automatically happens goods receipt that means systems says that you already received the goods and it communicates back to the s4 system saying that you already received that means the stock will should update here because this is the im based am right the s4 is im based because all the purchasing guys they want to see the stock at the storage location level okay you see the stock at the bin level in a ewm level you see the stock at the bin level but in a s4 side all the purchasing guys they want to see stock they even for sales guy they want to the stock at this storage location level they don't know the exact location they don't know exact precise location even um, I mean, they know the stock is there, certain storage location, but they don't know within the storage location where it is. Whether it is a unloading area, whether it is a staging area, whether it is a rack area, whether it will be any location, we never know that. So they know the stock, whether it is a receiving on dock or whether receiving on or in the sales. I mean, there are depend depends on the how you set up your warehouse. Uh, is it a two storage location approach or single storage location approach? okay i i'll i'll i will add some more details there okay so again is a, you do the final put away into racks then automatically system will communicate back to the s4 system saying the stock is updated okay see here is using a ppf you know post processing framework there is a ppf you know it communicates the uh, s4 system from ewm to s4 system okay and uh, this is a, a, a taken as a example you know uh, so that you know uh, you know just a little bit insight on the uh, process you know overall what do you mean ewm okay this is a complex uh, um, uh, inbound process you know put away process uh, where uh, we do is like you know uh, as soon as uh, you receive the goods uh, you assign the transportation into the door and uh, you do the unloading one unloading into staging area and uh, you receive i mean unload the handling units okay remember always you call a handling unit or if people in a warehouse people you call a case you know case means you know general case yes case, case okay in a in a typical warehouse terminology handling unit so as soon as unload the handling unit in a staging area so depends on the business requirement you may send it a deconsolidation here so in case this handling unit it consists of a non homogeneous material maybe different parts maybe you get a, a different um, coke and uh, uh, you can say pepsi and uh, so 50% coke 50% uh, i mean pepsi so as a single handling unit how the system knows it it should it should move to the deconsolidation work center in a deconsolidation what we do is you un you unpack it and repack it that is called work center anything you know you packing or repacking or any value added you can call as a work center is a work center means all physical location only please note down door is also physical location staging is also is a physical location deconsolidation is also physical locations so you create a storage types every physical location you create a storage type followed by the storage bin there is no mandatory requirement section in ewm okay section is not a mandatory here within the storage storage type you can always divide several sections you know within, within the inbound i can say that uh, several inbound sections here inbound section 1 section 2 that is uh, depends on the business requirement but there is no mandatory for the section ewm okay as soon as you create a storage type storage type is a physical area where you define it even door is also physical area even goods area staging area is also physical area 
deconsolidated work center is also physical area where people will do unpacking and packing okay before see if you look at here the picture you you have a handling in it here you unloaded here in the staging area this handling is moving to work center where because of non emergence they unpacked and packed into two item two handling units one is moving to the de designated storage area a designated racks another product is going to designated here okay how the system knows that where this product should go here okay there are like you know storage stss we call it the storage type such sequence is a, how you are going to maintain a master data level so that system will understand and uh, it it proposes to the warehouse operation operators so that you know um system should drive to the warehouse operator where this product handling unit should go to step by step okay if you configure in ewm such a way that the end user a business user or warehouse operator he can perform all these activities in a simplified way without any problem okay